good afternoon to all of you. Uh, on behalf of Vishwati Library Network, I would like to extend a, a warm welcome to all of you, those who have participated in this program. And uh, I also would like to uh, extend my great uh, gratitude to our today's research person, uh, Dr. Onirban Mukherjee and Sri Sumon Panja from Kharagpur, IIT Kharagpur. And uh, uh, you know, uh, today uh, actually Vishwatu Library is going to or is organizing a, a five day national level virtual uh, research academic skill development program from uh, started from 15th uh, January and uh, it will be continued to up to 9th January. Today is the third day of this program. So uh, the main uh, technical session will be start soon and after the technical session an interaction session will be happened and uh, if you have any questions from the audience then you can write on the chat box and also you can raise your hand to ask the question uh, so now may i request our university librarian dr nimai chat shah to say something on this program okay so uh thank you uh, thank you tapusda for uh, starting a nice with precise information and let me welcome on behalf of Vishwati Library Network in particular and Vishwati in general to all who are in hybrid mode. That is, some are in online and some are in Central Library Conference Hall. So this I can say hybrid mode of session. And actually this session is basically an artistic session to me because today's session has been started by our deputy librarian from Fine Arts. Session will be, word of thanks will be given by my colleague Sri Pradi Femram from Performing Arts. And this session will be dealt by two of our prestigious colleagues from NDLI Club and NDLI, that is IIT Kharagpur. They may be noted as digital arts. So fine arts, performing arts, and digital arts. So why can I not mark this session as artistic session? Of course, it will be informative. Of course, uh, our academia in and out from Vishwabharati will be immensely benefited because as I understood nowadays, the resource of NDLI through NDLI club, we will be immensely benefited because this is a government of India initiative headquartered at IIT Kharagpur and led by two of pioneer one is professor that is uh, uh, IIT Kharagpur and one is our librarian IIT Kharagpur led this momentum project to disseminate the Indian resources through a gateway to all of us. That is one library for all, one library for all. This is I think the tagline of our NDLI project and NDLI club. And we are trying to accustom with the NDLI club and NDLI and to feed resources to our UG, PG, research scholars, faculty members, uh, so that they will conduct and able to pursue their academia in proper fashion. But the thing is that we are a little bit unaware about the accessibility of the resource through NDLI club and what are the different resources available in the NDLI club that we need to learn from today's session. And I think Dr. Anirvan Mukherjee and Sri Sumon Paja, they are always a phone call away. And during November when I was there in the IIT Kharagpur, they asked me, sir, you please do. And we are always a, just a phone call away. The moment you will ask us, we will be there in online. And the moment you will ask us just 10 days or uh, 15 days ahead, we will be there in physical mode. And I have a long discussion with the IIT librarian, my mentor and my beloved senior, Dr. Bablu Sutradhar. He assured me that last week of March or first week of April, he, along with his NDLI team or NDLI club team, of course, Sumon Babu will be one of the part of that team. 
to showcase their initiatives, Vishwamati Consultant Sol, in physical mode. And that time, of course, I will ask and invite to come over here, our neighboring college librarian, some faculty members, some students, if they intended to come, then they will be welcome to attend over here. And today's this session, I like to take the permission ethically from today's both of the research person that soon after the session is over, since academia is going on every day, you know, many of our colleagues and students are not able to come to attend the session in physical mode and real time mode. But we, by our practice, intend to cater this lecture, valuable lecture, and I'm sure which will be immensely meaningful in future for our academia, Indian academia, and world academia. So we wanted to upload this video in our Vishwabharati Library Network YouTube channel so that the people in and out from Vishwabharati, the people in and out from India will be able to, able to you know, uh, view how Indian digital library is going to showcase, is going to, you know, uh, linked with the requirement of growing academia. And I think in this way, in one way, in addition to NDLI club and NDLI, whatever they are doing, we being member of the NDLI club, we also intend and very fond to, to market how NDLI club is developing, generating, showcasing, disseminating information to the Indian academia and world academia, and that cannot be customized within the geographic location of India only. Because we being the part of developing country, we also intend to showcase our activities throughout the world so that they may understood that even though being a developing country member and even though we are living in the uh, some infrastructure and other problems, but mentally, technically, we are not supposed to be lagging behind. We are always supposed to be forefront in the academia in India, particularly and in global level in general. So with these few words, let me hand over the session to my colleague, Dr. Das, to carry out the next course of agenda. And Suman Babu and Anirban Babu, please accept our deep regards from online. And when you will be here, we will be able to uh, give you proper honor in compliance with our traditional culture of Vishwabharati, the land of Gurudev Tagore, and the first and only heritage campus living heritage campus of global level. So with these few words, let me hand over the mic to my colleagues, Dr. P.K. Das. Taposda, please. Taposda, unmute yourself. Taposda, who is under network trouble, so uh, I think he will be agreed with me that soon after this deliberation, may I now request our two research persons today, that is Dr. Anivan Mukherjee and Mr. Sumon Paja, to take over the session by their own fashion. It's open to you only. Who will speak first, who will speak last, that's your matter. We are eagerly waiting to listen to you, to educate us, to award us, to orient us regarding NDLI, regarding NDLI club, and basically how to access resources from NDLI. That's our core agenda. So Suman Babu and Anil Babu, please, session is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the nice introduction and uh, all the details. I think everyone know what is NDLI. So today we will try to discuss about a few things that uh, how to access, what are the important things. So uh, today, Onivan sir is a little bit busy with uh, Shukrata sir, our uh, librarian sir. So he'll be coming uh, very soon. So let me start the session. And uh, first, I'd like to share the slides. I'm trying to share my entire screen. Is it visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In full screen, it is visible, no? Yes, sir. 
Okay. So, uh, as, as I told that uh, this is a Ministry of Education's project and it has been developed. Yeah, I am in an online session. Please call me later on. I am in an online meeting. Okay, please call me later on. So, Anirvan sir has come. I would like to say that uh, before I start, Anirvan sir should start the introduction. So, hello. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yes, so thank you uh, for organizing such a wonderful session. And I hope that uh, it will yield some good results in the future also. So Mr. Panja uh, will introduce you with an overall NDLI and the NDLI club functionalities. So initially, hmm, I'll just introduce uh, about the NDLI club, the service, actually uh, most of you, I think all of you know about NDLI, that is National Digital Library of India. But uh, regarding NDLI club, uh, I don't think everybody knows, <laughs> maybe uh, all of you know about the club, but if someone is there who do not know about the NDLI club, so for that, I'll just brief and everything else will be handled by Mr. Panja. So actually NDLI club is a service provided by the National Digital Library of India. If we look into our historical path in 2020s, uh, India government launched the NEP 2020 National Educational Policy 2020. And by that time, NDLI also making some plan to introduce uh, a service uh, which later become the NDLI club. Actually, with the commencement of NEP 2020, NDLI club got a strong role uh, in that aspect. Actually, NDLI club uh, launched in 2021 and with a aim of providing uh, some different kind of service. So aligning with the NEP 2020 NDLI club was uh, actually planned to provide support or handhold with the government policy and to help the institutions to uh, handhold with the NEP 2020. Actually, NEP 2020 had some recommendations for uh, specifically for the higher educational institutions. So one of which was the institutions uh, should have the activity-based club or the topic-centered club uh, in every institutions so that students can get a chance to uh, develop their skills, which is out of their syllabus. Actually, within curriculum, they, they uh, get a minimum chance to uh, excel in other fields, like in uh, within the curriculum, when we remain within the curriculum, we mostly engage, remain engaged with the uh, regular uh, study things. But uh, every students are unique, and they uh, are having a different skills within them. So educational institutions should provide a platform or the uh, actually we have to create the environment where they can nurture their skills. So basically the target is to develop the skill, uh, mostly the like analytical abilities, their uh, logical development and all such things which is very much required for the next generation learners. So, uh, NEP 2020 has a recommendation that institutions should have a number of, maybe there is a one or number of clubs in the institutions. Uh, those are mostly our uh, activity-based, which performs the activity-based learning. That means 
uh, they will they may perform numbers of activities there is no limitations uh, if someone is uh, very good at dance or in drama that is a skill that uh, should be nurtured so there are enormous scopes uh, in those activity based clubs where the students uh, can nurture their skills they can develop different new skills so that uh, they can be well accommodated in the future. So NEP with hand holding to NEP 2020, actually what NDLI club do, uh, what NDLI club does, actually NDLI club is a platform uh, which we are providing uh, to all the institutions of India. So it's, this is a digital platform and the concept is uh, using that this platform, uh, institution can create one or multiple clubs in their institutions, such activity-based clubs. And uh, now you will say that that we can do physically. So what is the data of NDLI club? Actually, see, in uh, case of physical class, uh, there are lots of other logistics are involved. Like you have to provide space, you have to maintain regular activities, you have to uh, provide certificates, or you have to organize the events and inform everybody separately. And, and you know, organizing a such events on a regular basis, which become tough for the uh, institutions and uh, uh, people who are involved or at the administrators of the institutions, because there are lots of logistics are involved. But with NDLI club using this platform, you just create an event, you just plan an event in your institution, you just upload it uh, in the portal, and there you can get a chance that with a single click, every member of that club, that means the students who have uh, taken the membership from the club, they will get the notification through their mail, and the entire event you may perform online or maybe offline. That's totally up to you. And after the event, the main headache is the providing certificates and all the uh, such accreditation to the students. And that becomes very much easy because with a single click, the students will get their own certificate. They can generate their certificates. And you do not have to engage a uh, dedicated person for that. You do not have to um, engage a whole infrastructure for the thing. And whatever you are getting is completely free. So this is the part where NDLI club was aimed to serve. And if I uh, talk about some other benefits, that is direct benefit that the institution can get, like uh, uh, all of you uh, are very uh, well knowledgeable person than me in that field that when NAC or other accreditation bodies visits your institution, usually they ask for some uh, things like some points and they have a requirement. Like uh, oftenly NAC asks for if you have your institution is over using a digital library or not? Do you have the membership for the library or not? So all these uh, criteria are very much mandatory. Or uh, actually you may score uh, a very uh, large number of points from this, uh, from here. So if you are telling to the NAC that we are using National Digital Library, but what is the proof? How will you prove that uh, you are using that library? Actually, NDLI is an open platform, and you there is a no scope for uh, any personal or institutional registration certificate for that. So actually, you do not have such uh, kind of uh, any pen on paper material that you can show to the man. But if you have a NDLI club, you are getting a registration certificate, which is dumped by uh, uh, the actually the certificate uh, where you can get the logo of Ministry of Education, IIT Kharagpur, NDLA, and everything. So this is a well-endorsed certificate that you can provide to NAC. So this is a criteria you can, you can feel, fulfill from that. And there are also other criteria in NAC uh, requirements like 
if you are using South Ganga, South Sindhu, etc., etc., etc. So many of institutions and colleges do not have much uh, uh, such kind of facilities that they can uh, take subscription of all the um, all these kind of services. Ah, so Ganga, so Sindhu are free, but there are lots of other journals and all these things that they do not have the access. Actually, through NDLI, they can get all the things in a single platform. Apart from that, you know, uh, Suman will describe all the facilities, all the uh, materials that you can get from the NDLI. They are huge. Actually, we are uh, right now running over 100 million. So, this is a huge volume. So, uh, sometimes somebody says that we cannot, we don't get these, 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 and that from NDLI. What you are having. Actually, I want to convey a message that NDLI, yeah, NDLI is providing everything is free. Uh, and obviously, there is an expectation that uh, I will get all the books there as it's a digital library. But uh, there is a catch. NDLI, as it's a free and open platform, NDLI never use or provide any copyrighted material. It cannot be, it's illegal. So if you are looking for a book which is copyrighted, uh, there is a uh, lots of chance that you cannot get it in, in the in the NDLI. It you may get because actually you do not store anything. We are actually storing the metadata from the entire world, entire publishers. So there may be some chances, but uh, because there are some other sources who are procuring such kind of books and all these things there. So there is a chance, but we cannot confirm that you will get that uh, copyrighted material from here, but there is every chance because as I know, being a biologist, there are lots of books which are very much costly uh, uh, for the student is available in the NDLI uh, from some sources of NDLI from where NDLI actually, as I told you that NDLA do not store anything. Uh, it actually facilitates the searching and actually it curates from all the source and provide you the exact information in an exact time. When you need the information, NDLA will provide you that, is, that pinpointed. So uh, this kind of facilities you can get with the proper accreditation and from the uh, MOEN and all the registration certificate. So, having uh, through NDLI club. And another thing, uh, during the NAC visit, they are, uh, they are asked from some other criteria like what kind of uh, extra co-curricular activities you are performing, your institution is performing. So as the activities what you have performed in last one or two or three years, uh, so they ask for all the documents, the, the activities, the number of participants, and all the details they ask for. And this becomes a headache for the institution to maintain all the records properly, and you have to engage one or two dedicated people throughout the year, or uh, what usually happens at the end time, uh, you get entangled with all these uh, formalities, and most of the time you missed lots of things. But if you have the NDLI club and you just put all the events, whatever is going on in your institution, that may be a, a seminar, a workshop, a, even a sports activity, even uh, any competition or anything, any sorts of thing, you put that information in the club, so that everyone get the uh, get all the notifications and certificates, and as well as it will act as a permanent archival for all your events. So at the time of NAC visit or anything, you just put a single click and you can get all the documents there, so that you don't have to bother or engage someone for the entire um, uh, year or for the time span, or you don't have to entangle with all these things. So this is a facility and that too you are getting without ex without any expense. Actually, suppose if you have to create such facilities in your institution, you uh, must have, uh, you have to bear a lot of logistics, lots of monies will be involved, 
lots of money will be involved, lots of logistics will be involved, but that you get, you are getting completely free of cost from the, uh, and it is uh, thanks to Ministry of Education, Government of India. So this is an overall thing, and uh, apart from that, there are lots of, uh, there were there are lots of other facilities your students can get like uh, NDLA club often uh, mostly uh, one or two such events in every month like what we call global event actually what happens in the global event we have dedicated YouTube channel and in the in our YouTube channel NDLA is YouTube channel we organize some uh, talk show or interaction or interactive show like programs where eminent peoples who are uh, masterpiece in their own field come to our platform and we have an open in, uh, interaction with them. In those uh, events, we usually try to put light on some burning issues, like not like any uh, political or any burning issues, actually uh, the issues lie with the students, like in future, they are, they are actually most of the students are whoever our member are the graduation graduation they are doing their graduation or post graduation and after some time they will be exposed to the world and they have to uh, do something so this is a very critical phase and most of the students get lost uh, in that enormous world where they get confused what to do, how to do, they don't get, and mostly in remote areas, in villages, in suburbans, they don't have enough guidance uh, for betterment of their future, building their proper, a proper future. Because as you know, only getting huge masks doesn't mean anything in this world right now, what we are going to face in future. You need a lot of skill. You need a market-based skill. Actually, what is the demand of society that you need to understand? And you cannot do those things just uh, uh, scoring a lot of marks in your graduation or post-graduation. And that's, that is for uh, many students who have scored a huge mark, but they are not getting a proper chance for a good employment. Just because they, are, uh, they do not have the required skills, what is the de demand, they do not uh, know what is the demand of market, how to get prepared, how to get, get room. So these are the very critical things, becomes uh, critical points that we address in those uh, events, global events. Actually, those followers shared their experience. Actually, they are from the different fields and they are the pioneer or eminent people from their field. So they know everything about the field and they guide the students directly how to uh, prepare themselves. So if uh, it is not mandatory that everybody will uh, do some job, or, uh, it may be there are lots of requirement of the entrepreneurs in future India. So how to become an entrepreneur, how to start your own startup and everything. So there are lots of things that we need to learn to survive in the next generation or future world. So we do such programs regularly so that can uh, the students can get exposed to those things very easily uh, with uh, having their membership in NDLI club. Actually, uh, see, if uh, a student want to get such knowledge, Either they have to pay to some institution or some they have to buy some courses from Udemy or something like that. Uh, and most uh, and often what happens, they do not, uh, those courses do not uh, come at per their expectation. And often the students, even they do not have the access uh, to such people, to, to such guides. Uh, most often it happens. And so this is a very, uh, lucrative option where they can get everything free of cost and uh, even the students can interact, students, teachers, everybody can interact in that so directly with those followers. So there are lots of service. We, uh, we tend like club, we openly provide them information with lots of uh, seminars, seminars and all these things. And even we sometimes provide a curated uh, list of the readables from NDLI, 
so that they don't have to uh, start all the things so they can get their material easily. So there are lots of uh, services and facilities are provided through NDA like cloud. So it will be my uh, earnest request to all of you to just spread the message to your students so that they can get the benefit. Uh, actually, there is no points to get uh, pay for something which you can get free of cost and with a lot of better uh, quality. So that's why it's my request to you. Uh, please provide, uh, disseminate the message to students and encourage them in your institution. That's the thing. And um, thank you. Thank you for inviting me uh, in the session. And um, I would like to welcome Shuman to carry on. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So uh, if, if you have any question, you can ask. Okay, so uh, yeah, please. Uh, if you have any question, then we can take now. Can we yeah, take uh, now? Yeah, you can. Uh, after uh, the session, it, it will be better though to take the question uh, after the session. Yeah, yeah, that no you problem. can. Uh, that you can okay. do. Uh, in that case, Shuman will uh, try to answer. And if you have anything to ask uh, to me, you can yeah, yeah. because I may leave the session because I have a lot of other things to. And things pending, so that's why I was asking. Okay, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, so uh, no problem. Uh, I may continue, and uh, after that, you may ask the questions. So uh, let us start. We everyone know that what is NDA like? It is uh, twenty four into seven digital platform, a single window platform. It covers all the spectrums like a UPPG. So I am not going to all of these. I am just going forward very quickly. So at present, our mobile app is un under development. The previous version is not working right now. But you can access the web. Like uh, you, we have two websites. One is ndl.iitkgp.ac.in. Another is ndl.gov.in. You can both. If you uh, go any of the website, you will land to the same page. OK. <clears throat> now. As I said, told that it is actually beneficial because it is an additional physical infrastructure and there is no financial involvement, no human resources are required for this. And at the same time, when one book is digitalized, the same book can be shared with the in number of people. You might be visiting in your institution library. As per the number of students, it is not possible for any library to provide the same book to all the students, right? So when the same book is digitalized, it is uh, it can be shared with a multiple number of people. At the same time, it doesn't have any missing cost or hidden cost or damage cost. At the same time, it is democratizing the education system because it is by everyone, for everyone, anyone can access it at any time and it is completely free. So this is the total game phase of our repository, you can see. The total contents has reached more than 100 million as, as of now. And this is the total number of content. As I told that all the contents which are available in our, in our platform, that most of the contents are open. You can get the full version of it, you can download of it, and you can take a print of it. So uh, there may be in two cases that they are copyright free or we have separate tie up with them. Like uh, some of the agreements have been done with the publishers or the authors, and then they have shared that content with us and with everyone with the uh, who are the users of NDLI, so they can access it. Okay, so those contents we call the uh, open content, which are the, which uh, of that content uh, there is no uh, restrictions of use. Now for the next one is the NDLI license content. That means 6.5 love content we have with separate agreements of time. And then we have partner sources like 600 plus. We have uh, sources from where we are getting our content. Actually, we don't store any content. As I say, we have the sources. The sources are sharing the content through NDLI platform. I'm going to that part in detail. Now, in total numbers of the language which is available is 423. Among them, 39 Indian languages are available. 
So now uh, going to more than 21 school boards are available at present, uh, which covers the NTN uh, 21 school board and uh, 12 more school board are under process. Um, then uh, we have a huge number of study material and uh, during COVID uh, time, the study at home segment was done for uh, which the students can get easily their books. So different, uh, you, if you open the landing page of NDLI, you can find different boxes has been created in that time for college students, for course students, for different aspects and different boxes has been created during that time. So after that, uh, there is NDLI offers three kind, uh, three, uh, uh, the search engine provide three uh, language support like uh, English, Hindi and Bengali. And the user interface, like the whole interface, you can change into 11 languages, Indian languages. Okay, so if any student is not comfortable in English, if he is comfortable in Hindi or in Bengali, he can change the interface also. Now, now the building uh, architecture, the open source software and the open metadata, these are the main uh, sources which are we have having like uh, not only the content or the books or the songs or the, the audio books. We have softwares. We have open metadata also. Okay. Now uh, the user personalization. This option is very important because whenever you do any kind of uh, search in India, it is not like Google. It doesn't store anything or it doesn't have that kind of AI filtration. Uh, it actually, you need to put the personalization filter in it so that you can curate the search result. Okay, I'm coming to that in detail. Now, now it contains the engagement programs and uh, raise to awareness as the NDLI resources, free workshop, training session, talk and webinars through the NDLI plan. We also have done more than 35 IDL workshops and uh, have already trained 2000 plus institute through our webinars essentially for the NDLI and NDLI club. And not only that, we also provide free institutional digital repository uh, support to the institution. If you institute uh, uh, want to build the institutional digital repository or the idea, uh, we have a dedicated team who provide them the support and help them to establish uh, to the institution uh, to establish the idea. And we uh, at present day we have uh, at least uh, 4,800 plus. It is approximately nearly to 5,000 institute have been are under process. 150 are under process and uh, remotely at different states are also there like in Andaman, Nicobar and uh, uh, Assam and North East states, we have ideas also. Now, uh, uh, except this study material, we have uh, different uh, uh, verticals also, like uh, the exam article or the career article, you can say. In exam article, like in joint, main, uh, then advanced, then in WD, Railway Recruitment Board, there are called different career verticals for Railway Recruitment Board, then IBPS, then SSC, then EPSC, CDS, everything is there. So all the question papers, year wise question papers, students can find. All the other uh, question papers, not only the question papers, but the solutions with detail are also there. Now, uh, the digital library is also there in uh, uh, Telangana Raj Bhavan has introduced the CDLI in their Telangana Raj Bhavan portal also. Now, not only the ideas, but also different universities, uh, school, colleges, and uh, from uh, abroad also, we are getting uh, offers to set up the ideas and collaborate with them. Okay. Now, we're going to the main part of the uh, metadata, like, uh, you know, the metadata is actually the data about the data, whatever the content we have. We don't have the content in 
in, in our server or in our hard disk or in our data storage, we have the metadata also. Now the metadata and uh, accordingly we have the targets also from the ministry. So this is the table of all the target and uh, the target achieved. So at present we have 102 cumulative target and finally we are going into that. At present we are suffering with some uh, technical branches also because every day is getting uh, uh, very enlarged with the data and at the same time the server and all everything has a depreciation. So at present we are going to a next phase where uh, the new servers and everything are under process to set up and then a new portal is about to launch on NDLI and then uh, everything will be okay and right now we are also facing some problems sometimes uh, some links are not opening or something is happening sometimes logging issues so being a technical platform this happens and this is a part of this system so this is the high level architecture i'm not going to the architecture at all a metadata curation and a pipeline are here where the metadata is curated in different way. There are different teams who are working on okay. and there are different circles. How the metadata is working. The separate noise is coming from outside. I just give me one second. Sorry for the interruption, some work is going on. So there is several noise. And uh, okay. so these are the general architecture, the hardware part, the server part. I'm not going to all of these, this is the back office and all. I'm going to the main part, like how to do and how to curate the search result and all. So this is the main user model, simple model. If you see the center part, it is the NDLI repository, or uh, we can see the NDLI server. Now, where from we are getting the content from the right hand side, different institution are there, different way content partner are there, like Khan Academy and all. And then uh, the uh, different educators are there who are also sharing their content. And then who are accessing the content who are in the left side uh, of the screen, like uh, the professionals, students, researchers, learners, anyone, they are accessing the content. Now these are the government bodies, different KGs, and non-government organizations who are associated with us. And uh, for exam article, we have a separate team like the NDLI like tutor who are preparing the JE main advanced main and main and main ability papers. And for career work, we have a different team for preparing like SRLB, SSC, UPSC like question papers and solutions. Now uh, we are coming to the search, the refining search. Whenever we do any kind of search in NDLI, like, in this example, you can see we are searching with the name of Tigor and uh, uh, the first option we can see that in the left hand it is the access uh, restriction. So few options we can see in the left hand side like the open log, then NDLI, then subscribe, limited, authorize. So I'm going to indicate like when it is open, uh, if when you select this open green log, that means the full text is available. Like an example of NCRT, all the NCRT books you and get the full version of it. You can download it, you can take a print of it. Actually, there is no restriction, okay. The uh, next part is the NDLI users. So for NDLI users, I, I as I told you that uh, there are few books which are, uh, with whom we have a separate 
uh, tie-ups or uh, agreement with the uh, publishers or with the authors. Uh, like South Asian Archives, Satoji Roy Society, uh, the full books are also available. You can also download and it is same as like open. But for open content, you don't even need to log into India Life Portal. Okay, in the right top corner, you can find the live login button is there. But to open any content which is open, which is unlocked content, you even don't need to log in. Okay, for NDLA users, that is a separate tie up with the Indian government, like uh, for Ministry of Education. Through NDLA, they have made it free. But so that this content you also can open, but you need to log in. So better you log in and then you select these two options in the left hand side. You can see the key box are there. So better when you search, if you want a free version of anything or the full content is available, you are searching for a book which full version is available, full contents are available. In that case, you need to select these first two options, open and India. Okay, now going to the next part, uh, limited access, subscribe and restricted. So for limited access, like uh, the full part is not available, but the rest of the part is available. Okay, that may be a, uh, a research paper of ISS here, Gopal, and maybe a, a copy of a subscribe part, or uh, maybe a part of that is there, for the limited uh, part is there. To get the full part, you may need to get the subscription of that. But at least the few texts or some part of that enter is available through the limited access content. Though the limited access, subscribed and restricted content are very low, at present we are not taking the content which are providing the limited access. At now we are getting the content which is completely available, but still there are few contents which have limited access and still with us. Now the subscribed content are like saying the, uh, like Springer is a uh, magazine and many of the institution have the uh, subscription of that. So from the institution the network through NDLA, students can get the full version also. Okay. If your institute has a speaker uh, subscription, your institutional port is within. And through that port, whenever they will access the NDLA, the same content they can open through the institute internal. Okay. Now the restricted content, like uh, one research paper of IIT Jodhpur, it is only made circulated with a certain uh, group of people from IIT Jodhpur. So that is the restricted content. Rest of the students or uh, general person can get a part of that. So next option we are going for author. Like if I search with this keyword Tigor, I may get books which is may be written by Tigor or may be written on Tigor, right? So to search a book which is written by Tigor, we need to select the author as Ravindra Tigor. So the other options which is coming as per the metadata, you can see the second option here, it is showing uh, Tigor, then Ravindra and Nath are separately. So it is a mistake in the metadata. They have inputted the name in separately. So it is showing like that. Category. Like we are searching here for history of English literature. Now, if I am searching about this history of English literature, it is a part or it is an English book from the English literature, right? Not a history book. So in that case, the portal is unable to find out the particular book from that category. It may give a huge example which is related to history or other things. So to curate that from the subject category, if you select the language or literature or rhetoric, then only those books which are related to language and literature and rhetoric that will be shortlisted. Next. Education level, UG and PG. So here you can see one example is there. Uh, maybe one boy is searching some research paper on geography. So he may use this 
uh, UG and PG and uh, the papers will be easily come in front or as per his education level, he can get uh, this. So because we, we are different example also, like magnetism is an example. It may be a topic of class five student, it may be a topic of a, a postgraduate student. So if they both uh, do a search in this uh, Google, they cannot get the actual result quickly. But if the uh, one student who is in PG, if he select this PG, he can content uh, on uh, this magnetism, which is uh, as per his level. At the same time, uh, the another student who uh, is comfortable with uh, class five or in class eight level, he can select this class five to eight category, so he can or she can get his or her books accordingly. So the education level you can see has been divided into some categories. The first I would like to say it is class one to four. This is one category. Then five to eight is one category. Then Madhyamik or class ten, nine and ten. Then HS or higher secondary, eleven and twelve. And then going back to technical, going to technical or career study. And then UG and PG. Okay. So accordingly the syllabus or according to the syllabus the books has been. Uh, formulated, curated in the metadata so that it gives you a curated result. Okay, next thing is uh, the language. You can select the language also as per your comfortability. You can select the language. You can select Hindi, English, Bengali, or other things. And next option you can see that uh, the important is source. Like here, if I uh, do any kind of search result. Uh, the source I can find that from which source I am getting this. So you can see in this example, maybe one student is searching on a chemistry paper, and maybe that is a research paper, so he is selecting the source Ganga. So the source you can see from where you can get the good information, the librarians can help you with the good sources. So, and they can guide the students uh, with the sources so that they can get the results easily. For artificial intelligence, this is an example from MIT. One paper is coming out. And if I want to see the video, you can see the content type in the right hand. If I click on the video option, only the video will come. So, here, different sorting option is there. You can you cannot do the search in Google, but here you can easily curate the search result as per your file format. You can choose the file. Like only if you want to the want the videos, you can simply sort it with the video or the audio or with the text. So here is the example which uh, you can use multiple. At the same time, you can use multiple uh, filters and sort the curated results. So this is the main page of NDLI or the landing page. So the first part about which I was talking about the study, study at home segment, which was done during the COVID period. The next part is the COVID-19 research repository. So during the COVID period, this repository helps the research scholars and the doctors a lot for research purposes. Now, as uh, Anirban said, was telling about the National Education Policy 2020. If you go through the National Education Policy 2020, different clause and pages, and accordingly how NDL can support, this is a graph which you can understand that by which aspects and different uh, clause NDLI is connected with the National Education Policy 2020. So the first is the online accessibility, then uh, repository of content. So these are the very different clause and page number of National Education Policy. And uh, in the right side, you can see how NDLI can support on the, on, on this, on these points. Going to the next page. So these are the example of uh, different user interface. As I told you, you can change the interface into different languages. So this is an example of uh, 
10 and 11, 10 or 11 will be the languages of the earth. And this is one J in an advanced position prepared solution. So at present it may be showing that it is mainly for the students of science and all, but it is not like that. And we have different papers also. Yes, definitely we, we started with the it is started with the IIT, so most of the engineering colleges are connected, but as of now, we are connected with different more institutes. So this is an example only how the question papers of need biology you can see the question papers and the solutions with pictures are here and uh, this is an example of J. main advanced paper you can see the question there so question and solutions are there in separate pages okay if you click on the question it will see show you the question only when you click on the solution to the question it will show you the question and the solution in the same page Okay, so for practice, it is very good for the students. So this was all about NDLI searching and everything. Okay, now let me show you that how you can do the same in your in the practical web page. If I go back to the NDLI page, let's try to open it here. So uh, this is the landing page of the line. And here I am already signing, so my name is showing. Otherwise, you can see the signing button here. After you log in, you can see your name here. Okay. Now, if you want to search on any papers, there is a search option. And another is the browse option. Like in a physical library, we may go for a particular book. So you can do a search here. Like I am what I want to try to give an example. Like uh, I'd like to start with that Turner Tagore. So let me search one of these book. And I am trying to do this search in Bengali language. Mom still giving some problem. Yeah. And, uh, so what you can do to do the search result, you can simply select this open content and you can see all the search result is coming is open. Eight result is coming. So all the eight result is here, it is open. So there is the content type is available in text. Okay. But take uh, the authors who are here, you can see the other books are also there related to it by other uh, authors. Now the file format, resource, if I select uh, this uh, society or presidency alumni association, from there uh, I can get uh, the sources also. So here is the example as I shown you in detail. I'm going back to the main page of my presentation. So this was all about NDLI. In the next page, we will discuss about the NDLI club. Okay, this is an extension of the NDLI club portal which is activity-based plan. Okay, so let me show you that. So in different institutions, as I told that uh, in every institution, we are uh, educating the students, right? Now, until and unless you are using this education, you are doing some activities with that education, that, uh, that education is none of the use, right? So here, ministry want that uh, the education uh, should be implemented uh, in a such a way so that the students 
through their activities can get benefited from the institution only the students need to do different kind of activities and through different activities they can get uh, their learnings so suppose one student is good in uh, singing and there is a singing competition in your institute the student will get a certificate now in future if the students go want to go for any audition and he show that certificate that yes i was good in singing in my institute also and this is the certificate that will put some add on in his career right so this recognition whatever the students are doing in their particular uh, life all the activities uh, uh, have some good aspects and also but from institution that cannot be recognized one good example is that movie tara jani pe right so here also you need to give some recognition to the students by providing them the certificates and ndli promote this uh, culture of activity based learning so this club is here to promote this or to support this culture of your institute so don't take it any other way like if you want to register in this institutional club or if you want to establish one ndli club you have to do activities no for sustainability of ndli for renewal of the ndli you need to do activities minimum six activities are there you need to do otherwise the renewal will not be provided to you okay it has a one year validity from the date of registration but you need to conduct minimum six events to this portal and then the renewal is given but if you don't do any activity we are not cancelling your uh, registration renewal will not be done but after that when you are able to do some activities we will provide you the renewal so these are uh, the recent initiatives which are being uh, taken as Uh, in NDLI or in NDLI club, like uh, there are many resources which are available, like uh, Swam and Moks, and uh, the Deepak is there for education on uh, portal, like uh, for those students who are not able to see. Okay, there is who are not able to learn anything. So there is a portal called Deepak from where we are giving them audio uh, uh, audio content of that, and uh, not only that, there are many different uh, Indian libraries. Okay, the English version has been launched few months ago, and uh, also the different uh, version are working on. It. So for a guide for Indian libraries are also there to Indian libraries. So these are the free open sources tools which are available in NDLI platform. So these you can get from NDLI only from NDLI portal. You can download these, not only the books but also softwares. So this is different content partners, and uh, we have the regional solicitors and other activities which you are doing. Like we have IIT Guwahati Regional Center, and these are some examples of our uh, monthly uh, papers, which was used to be generated in that time. Different workshops you can see, the international partners. These are the international partners. Now the symposium. KDL two zero one seven, KDL two zero one nine, ICDL two zero one six, and this year also we conducted one symposium. And uh, during COVID, these are the some uh, newspaper cutouts. In the left hand side, you can see, and in the right hand side, you can see how 
a different uh, swam or the digital NDLR entry one app also. You can find this NDLR portal. These are some awards which we received during our post COVID period. So, on way forward, we are also uh, under the implementation of the ISO certification, then uh, the cloud service and library automation is under process. The new CMS and the new cloud portal is under process. We are also supporting, going to support to the National Digital University. The interlibrary loan, it is very interesting in so that the physical books, like today with uh, Zomato is delivering the food, right? So we are also under the plan so that one day the physical book, books can be delivered. And so that we are planning one intra-library loan with the different libraries, it may be a, a village library or a state library and a institutional library. So they are interconnected so that if one book is near to your institute, you from any library, you can take that book in a, a loan and after a few days, we may return that so that the students or the users can get benefited. A UI for children and adolescents like uh, the voice based search result. Okay, this is under implementation. Students, you can see the kids, they are using the uh, Google Mic option and speaking, and then they are getting their cartoons and all right. So, the same facility we need to develop in the NDLI like platform. Under preparation is the NDLI competitive mock test. Uh, so we know that uh, the Google sets can be created in a one page the questions are there, in the other page the answers are there. To the key notes, we simply create one uh, shared sheet and the same can be implemented in the NDLI club portal so that the students, they can start the test, they can start the time so according to the uh, time of that particular paper, like one uh, J main, uh, one English paper or a math paper is for 30 minutes. So the exact 30 minutes time will start. The student whoever is able to complete whatever the questions is able to complete within 30 minutes the paper will be or after 30 minutes the paper will be automatically submitted and it will reflect in the result. That uh, within that time, what is his preparation? What uh, and also we are preparing for the further, uh, like uh, as far as his answer according to the actual note, what is the difference and how we can suggest on that? Suppose something AI based uh, architecture we are trying to implement in that. So, some challenges are also there, like the inadequate uh, skill manpower and strengthening the ideal like club related activities in order to outreach and all corners of the country. Because you know, we are five people in this ideal like club who have to look after, we are me also only have to look after five, four states, five, two, four, uh, five, four to five states, and uh, all the institutions, mainly those who are under ESP or the courses which are under ICT from your university also, uh, they need to set up this NDLI club as per the guidance of ICT. Because in ICT, uh, there is a uh, handbook, if you are, uh, the handbook is generated. And in the handbook, during the COVID period, they made this NDLI club as a mandatory. So what happened after that, all the institute from the ICT registered with the institute, they jumped in it and implementation of the NDLI club or the registration of the NDLI club was done, done in that time. So now, the, hence the, that uh, mandatory has been uh, resolved. The AICT has now shifted that mandatory term to a different term, a recommendation term. So they have shifted this mandatory to the recommended. They are now recommending the NDLI. So what happened when they made it mandatory, all the institutions come and jumped out for the registration and huge number of institutes are registered with more than 5,000 institutes are registered and they are connected, they are conducting events, workshops, everything. And uh, the, uh, to conduct that number of, uh, you can understand if 
I take uh, average uh, 1,000 students in one institute and 5,000 institute, that number is huge. And when all the students are coming to this platform in a global event or something like that, the portal is unable to take, uh, take that uh, much load. So sometimes it is creating problems, the system is getting crashed, the students are not able to log in in that time. So we need to develop all these things. A huge setup on IT and hardware is required. 85 physical servers are distributed in two data centers. Recently, we have merged that two data centers into single one. Okay, a few days back, whatever the problems we are facing was due to this result. NDLI and NDLI club portal was not functioning properly because we are about to merge these two data centers. Now it is not two data centers, it has been merged to one. Okay, now the limited government initiatives and uh, higher better promotion and Indian, we are not going to all these things. And uh, struggling to provide good number of text and reference books to copyright and uh, with the publisher. So for this part, we need the help of the librarians also, the authors also, the publishers also, so that we can get a good number of books. And uh, we have a huge infrastructure for digitalizing. For digitalizing, it is not an issue, but uh, to get the number of books, a good number of books is the main issue. And uh, gradually, we are we have a limitations of that really high volume of your sources or other things you can understand that is a high volume source. And to maintain all these high volume sources and uh, the metadata, mainly. So sometimes when you click on any source, it is, it, it is not open. It is not our fault because we have the metadata only, the link only, and the data is stored in some other place with some institution, with some other library. So when it is not opening, what you can do, you can simply write it in to the support and we can raise this issue to the technical team and the technical team will communicate with that particular source and then after that it can be fixed. If you don't report us, the problems will not be fixed because it is very hard for us to check all the sources. We have more than 600, 800 sources right now and whether all the sources and from the, all the sources, whether the, all the links are working properly, it is hard to check. Okay. Now, um, I think uh, it is uh, everything I covered from for the short time. If you want to know about the procedure of registration and anything, we can take separate session for that. Okay, this was the overall uh, description why which I tried to give you. If you have any queries, you can ask me. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Panja. For your uh, informative and uh, valuable uh, presentation. Now, uh, uh, session is open for the participant. If you have any questions, then you can ask, or you can also uh, use the chat box. You can write the, your question in the chat box. Uh, Mr. Panja will take the question. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tabasda. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Panja. I'm Ramprasad Mojumdar from Vishwavarati. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I, 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 I'm sorry that I, I'm taking your name later. But oh. uh, uh, we are all very much connected from a long time. And, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for your cooperation to give me the support. Uh, for our digitized uh, books uploading to uh, send the one contact person. And yeah. I have contact with them, they are working on that. Uh, thank Actually, you, sir. I, 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 I have request that this event should also need to be published in the portal. Is it published, sir? Actually, I have a, a, some, uh, I need a, some solution. Yes, sir. And I am facing some problem. Uh, okay. Next. Uh, one month or two months. Actually, at our China Bhavan library, mm -hmm. uh, some documents, um, Chinese language journals, and uh, is, uh, something, any other documents is there. And China, China government has sent some amount to make the digitized. Okay. Not set up the digital library uh, hardware, but 
they provide the money for only for digitized. Okay. We are searching for any agency all over India. If uh, they are uh, doing this work, like uh, last uh, year, the uh, president uh, CDAC has done this work for digitized mm -hmm. book. So anybody is agency is there, or you can take an initiative to send uh, one team or uh, make a digitized books and uh, make a bill, an invoice for per books and per pages. Then we can uh, do this problem. And many libraries has their own fund for digitized, but they have no infrastructure. I think NDLI it, it provide this type of facilities to them and send the hardware and make their digitized books. Uh, the only fund is there for only making the digital library, not uh, make a setup for digital library hardware. So I think NDLI it should be uh, an arrangement uh, like a CDI, like CDI. For informatics. Our informatics, they will do that work. Then uh, we'll be helpful to that. I am searching for one month. Nobody is uh, help us, and nobody uh, provide the information. Who will do this job? Yes, sir. Uh, we have a dedicated team for that. Actually, uh, I shared one email ID that is ndl.support.iitkcp.in. You can write this in this mail ID. So there is a separate team who will decide on that and contact you. Don't worry. Okay. okay, okay. Kindly send me the ID. Then yes. I will. Uh, I share the email ID in the chat box. It is okay. email support at the red iitkcp.ncb. So this is the support for NDL. If you need one any support regarding to NDLI club, that is there is a separate email ID for NDLI club also, right? Club yes. Yeah. Yeah, I am sharing that in the chat. Any more questions, please? Uh, hello. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, uh, hello. Am I yes, audible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, sir, we have completed all the procedure uh, for uh, NDLR uh, registration. Uh, uh, so my yourself. question is that ke if any department of my institution uh, organize an event, then mm -hmm. can we upload the departmental event on NDLI portal? Is it yes. okay? Yes, every anybody from the institute authorities, suppose there are four authority in an individual club, right? And can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, so if you can see my screen, if I open any club, you can see there are four positions. Like uh, in authority detail, you can see four positions in your pattern, president, secretary. Yes, sir. Yes, cases. sir. So, this parent, president, secretary, and executive member only have the right to create one event. Okay. Right. So, any of the authority, if you are supposed one of the faculty of a particular department and you are not one of the authority, so you may ask one of your authority to share his NDL user ID and password only to create okay. it. But he cannot do anything because with that NDL user ID and password, you can log in, you can check the club detail, or otherwise you can just create one event. There is nothing harm to share your NDLA password or else uh, to other person. Uh, okay. It, it, it uh, associated with your institute. Okay, yes. nice. But my question is that okay, if, uh, for example, computer department uh, conduct a one event, can we upload computer department event information on NDLA portal? One institute when create one event, so that event will be tagged under your institute name, not under the department name. Okay. Okay. Suppose if it is your institute or it is a university, and under that there is a department. Sir, it is, is it? a it is college. It is, is an it, institute. It is an institute. So your institute need a single affiliation only or a single registration only one institution or club you just need to form. Okay. okay. So okay. whenever you will conduct or publish one event through the NDLI club, okay. all the students are eligible to participate. All the students will be notified. But in the eligibility, you can mention that okay. this is for only for the computer science students. Okay. Oh. The, Got that, it, that sir. is the different part. That first, you create your NDLI part, club. Okay. After that, we'll uh, do different session with you and let you understand 
that uh, how to do how, what to do okay 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 uh, first uh, your institutional registration is complete or not yet sir already completed i have received a membership number also mm -hmm. uh, through email Mm. So but uh, I, sir, I don't know how to upload event information on the don't NDLI worry. portal. Don't worry. You, uh, you are uh, sir, can you day. arrange one session for us separately? Yeah. You let me know that you are calling from which state? Sir, uh, from uh, Pune, Maharashtra. Pune, Maharashtra. So, yeah. you can write a mail in this club support mail ID. I am sharing this mail ID in the chat. Okay, and yes, Manali, sir, Sengupta, sir, I... Manali Sengupta is a concerned person who is looking after your state. I am not the concerned person of your state. We have five persons who are looking at different state. Okay. So uh, sir, have... Can you please uh, repeat a name of the concerned person? You can note you down her email, no, phone number, please. Directly you can call her or write a mail in this number. In okay. This I okay. shared the mail ID here in the chat. Okay. And you can take your Manali's number who is looking after your state. I'm I'm also sharing that number in the chat. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Uh, Shumanbu, who just let me let me intervene in this regard for yes, the sir. responding to the query of the madam uh, mm -hmm. from Pune. Today, uh, you are repeatedly asking that we wanted to upload the event in NDLI. Right. I think that is not the correct. We need to upload, you have to upload the event on NDLI club portal. NDLI is a mother thing and NDLI club is under the NDLI. There is a separate uh, agenda or registration we need to have. Okay. The moment yes, you sir. have. I know, sir, that. Yeah, yeah. So under the NDLI club, the moment you have the registration process completed or done, then in the there is an event uploading option. The moment you will go over there, then it is very, very, you know, efficiently that the topic the area focus area the title of the agenda date time anything it's just look like a user friendly so you just by your own go is simply trial and error then i think you will be able to know how to okay. upload a DLI club that's why why we are just following being users okay. we think and we are uh, again seconding that the ndli club portal is much user friendly you don't found any trouble Okay, so that's that's my submission. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Any more question from the participant side? So, that was the I found. Don't worry, you may ask. Any I question? Found that there is no question. Ask question, please. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have one suggestion that uh, some new students are facing some problem to register in NDL club. Two registration is there. First registration in NDLI, NDLI and then after verification and confirmation no, no. of the... No, no, that is not required, sir. The they first, if they are not registered in NDLI, they simply will go to the NDLI club registration page. Okay. Yes. And will do the registration in NDLI club only with the passkey. As soon as they registered in the NDLI club, if they are not registered in NDLI, their register will automatically done in NDLI. In previously, when it was guideline is there. In that time, there was two way for registration, but now it is developed. Then we have to change our notification. Also. I have a, we have to the open no, no, it is from the, from the very beginning. If okay. someone is registered with NDLI, whenever you put the password, suppose I if we go to the live example, let me show you that. Okay. Going to the Indian like club page. Is it visible, sir? Is, is my screen is visible? The Indian like page is visible here? Hello? Visible. Okay. So here is the password. 
uh, when you will enter your parsley, suppose if I open your cloud. Oh, your screen is not visible. Uh -huh. We are not able to see your screen. Okay, okay, just a minute, sir. You just try to uh, restart the screen sharing. Yeah, now it's yes, coming. Yes, is it also? Now it's coming. Okay, just a minute. Let me go back to the NDLI page. Here I am in the NDLI page. And if I click in this NDLI cloud icon, it will open the NDLI cloud page. Now the students will register from this member registration option. Right now, the parsley it is asking for the parsley. If I go to your institutional parsley, like So this is the pass of the institute, right? So suppose if I copy this pass key, paste it here. And whenever I have a registered account in NDLI, whenever I type my mail ID here, I, it, it will not ask to enter my first name, last name, and password. Okay. If I have an existing account in NDLI and if I am trying to be a member, it, whenever I will simply put this passkey, okay, this passkey is validated. Whenever I type my email, my email ID will automatically get connected with your institutional club and they will get a pop up that you can log in to your club as a member using your ADLI user ID and password. Okay, so they don't need to create separate account to be a member of ADLI club. If the student's email ID is not registered in NDLI, in that case, he need to write his first name, last name, and a password. So this will be his password for both NDLI and NDLI card. Thank you. Thank you it's for your okay. clarification. Thank you. Okay. okay. There is no question from the participant side. Now, uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Paja. So, uh, you have covered so many important things about the NDLI and the NDLI club, and uh, uh, it will be helpful to us and also our students uh, that uh, you know, and we know that uh, NDLI is a uh, repository, a virtual repository of academic resources, and uh, it uh, covers all level documents of academic students, academic levels from KG to PG. And also we, uh, the all level students can use this platform and we can uh, also change the interface, search interface according to our needs, according to our convenient languages. So it is very much helpful to us and it will help the, our students. So now <clears throat> uh, I may request our colleague uh, Mr. Pradeep Hemram, Assistant Librarian, Shongir Bhavan Library, uh, to give the word of thanks. Uh, good evening, everyone. I uh, feel very privileged to deliver a vote of thanks on behalf of our Vishwabharati Library Network at today's national level, Virtual Research Academic Skill Development Program. I would like to thank all the participants who joined today's national level virtual research academic skill development program, who joined uh, this program by giving their um, valuable 
time. As we all know that saying thank you is a respectful way to show appreciation towards a person, but these words would be less for our today's speaker, Dr. Onirvan Mukherjee and Sri Suman Panja, which we could clearly understand from their lecture. Thank you so much, sir, for taking your time and teaching us, awareness us on National Digital Library of India and NDLI Club. Next, I would like to thank our librarian, Dr. Nimachan Saha, because of whom this national level virtual research academic skill development program was possible. I extend my sincere thanks to the faculty, HOD of all departments and staff members of Bishwabharati Library Network for their enormous cooperation in the organization of this event. Thank you again to all the participants, respected speakers, and Bishwabharati Library staff. It was because of everyone hard work that this event was possible. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pradeep. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, now, uh, uh, participants are requested to join the uh, tomorrow's session. Uh, Tomorrow's session, we have an, another, another important session of this program, uh, five days national uh, level awareness programs. And uh, you know, tomorrow we have uh, our, our resource person, uh, Dr. Rajesh uh, Singh from uh, University Library, uh, University of Delhi, University Librarian, and uh, he's, he will he will give a lecture on the 21st century in uh, information skills. So uh, please join. Uh, on the with the same link at 4 p.m. Uh, uh, to attend this program. Thank you. Thank you. Either... Okay, so the, from my side, thank you, Anirvan Babu, Shumon Babu. And you, you, to you, I like to pay my deep regards to my beloved colleagues, Dr. Babu Sutradhar sir, for yes. allowing you to be here in online mode because without his and our uh, Mahapatra sir's uh, administrative permission, you are not supposed to be here to talk with us. So yes. through, I like to convey my deep regards to both of them. Uh, my colleague Dr. Tapos Kumar Das uh, conducted this session. So you are also deserving word of thanks. And my colleague Pradeep also, you are also deserving word of thanks. And with all of our unconditional cooperation, we will go ahead. That's our pathfinder. So thank you very much, Mohan Babu. I'd like to solicit future cooperation from you so that we'll go ahead with NDLI Club. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now let us close the meeting online.